Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some of the projects I created with this easel drawer kit. It says it has four pieces and it's uh, these are actually templates that are all shown over here. So you create drawers, you create the outer uh, box and uh, to create the easel card as well. So let me show you what's inside, how they look like. And if you get that, you can get on the website. Uh, and this one is the, let me see, because I can't see it. Uh, shaped lace edible die. So uh, I don't have this one. I was only given this one to create my uh, design team projects. So, let me remove them and these are so nice i really like working with that these are uh, templates so of course it takes a bit time to to cut everything out and to put everything together so that's the, uh, the one template uh, to be honest i didn't use this one and there are no instructions so i can't tell you exactly uh, what does it do maybe it's i don't even know so that's the one which I didn't use. That's uh, to create the drawers. Let me show you the small one. So you pull the drawers and that's what you're going to create with this template, the drawers. And uh, for, for the outside, uh, for the box, for the, your drawer, uh, you've got this template which you can see over here and then for the front to create that uh, easel you've got that template but basically it's five and a half uh, inch uh, square card um, card base and you create an easel and now I'm going to show you what I created I've done six projects with that so uh, let me show you which one was the first I think that was the first I uh, I did drawers only two at the front and I decorated the sides with uh, with pattern paper and um, cardstock and that's my easel as you can see I've got the sentiment I've got that panel underneath it I've got some nouveau drops flower and leaves and the stamp from crafters company as well that's old one and I don't think it will be available on the website then I think I did this one, it's from Visteria Collection, the paper is from Visteria Collection and uh, the patent paper I think, uh, no, the card um, stock is from that uh, autumn and fall paper pad, let me just see. It's actually uh, called uh, Fall and Festive Luxury Linen Card, so I use the purple one because it goes really nice with this Visteria collection and I don't think I've got the cardstock from that collection uh, the window is from Visteria collection as well the leaves are from um, Daisy Delightful Daisy and this time what I did I've got that tr uh, two drawers at the front and uh, got one drawer on the side this one is sealed and or another drawer on the other side so and uh, sentiment is also i think it's stamp and die set from Visteria collection and i just added a flower and some novel drops on the sides uh, to finish off this project and then i created this one because i got myself the collection which is called uh, wild at heart that's quite newish collection i just noticed this one is not out and I got myself those uh, shoes are from this wild and free as well. Mm, what else? And what I did, I just simply uh, decorated with the pattern paper on a black uh, matte card. Uh, the doily is from another set. And uh, what else? The sentiment is a very old sentiment by Crafters Companion as well. And this time I did one drawer at the front, as you can see, one on the side. That's another one on the other side and one at the back. So you've got, let me just open them so you will see all of them. It will look like this when you're looking from above. So you can see it's like a pinwheel 
kind of. And I really like that paper, so I decided uh, it's nice to use it as well with the dark uh, pink uh, bow uh, at the at the stopper here. And then I wanted to do something quite simple, but because of the patent paper, white and black card and the sentiment, I think it looks really nice. And I found those uh, dark uh, emerald green uh, gems, which goes really well with that green color on that uh, paper. And it's simply with a stopper and red bow. And this one, let me see, I've got uh, two drawers at the front one on the side and one on the other side so you can mix and match you can create whatever you want you can actually stack all of them let me show you this way uh, and glue them together and create like a storage uh, a solution for yourselves for some beads and i was actually thinking to create that for 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 my daughters uh, so they can put some uh, little bits and pieces this is the fifth project and this one uh, has only uh, two drawers at the front and I use this uh, zesty green uh, um, card with white card and those flowers are from Delightful Daisy die set and the leaves as well and I just layer them up on 3D foam pads just cr to create a simple composition but because the flowers are so pretty I just love this box and I think I always show uh, my projects to my girls and they said this one is their favorite uh, which I'm really happy about because the colors are so nice and bright and vivid I, I just love this one so this one has this uh, very um, beautiful front and uh, the stopper has only sentiment which says with love and uh, we've got drawers only two of them at the front like so so you can create something different for example you can put uh, three of them next to each other or like in this uh, uh, this example shows that you can use only single drawer and you can decorate it and create an easel or stack few on top of each other so there are so many different uh, ways or how you can uh, use this um, template set and when I was doing those I was thinking this is perfect for example if you want to do advent calendar and I think that's what I'm going to use next year because even though you've got the drawer template but you don't have to cut that bit you can make a straight line for example, uh, for example, add a button or something to pull and you can actually create something which doesn't have that uh, cut out. So um, I think there are so many different ways you can uh, use this easy drawer kit and I really like it. It was so nice because you just draw around every single template and you can sit in front of the TV or listen to some music and uh, cut it out one day. Next day you can put it together and then uh, uh, slowly you design, uh, you create something really pretty. So I hope you like this, uh, this um, video and uh, my projects uh, I've done for Crafters Companion. Let me know. Hope you can see all of them. Let me know which one is your favorite. They are all different. I try to create different things, like not only sentiments, but for example, this one has a sentiment or something uh, on the stopper, like this one as well, a fl floral composition. This one is quite simple, but I wanted to show you that you can use the single one as well. So yeah, I'm quite happy with what I created and I hope I, you will like it as well so let me know if you've got a favorite one let me know which one is it if you are new to my channel give me thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell so you're not going to miss any new videos and uh, yes thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye for now